Hello everyone. Welcome to Texture Math. In this session, we are going to discuss about another medical prefixes which will denote the direction or position. Okay. So far, whatever the prefixes we have discussed, uh, that were with that we will use to uh, denote some amount, quantity, and numbers, right? But from this session, we are going to discuss about few. Uh, medical terminology prefixes that denotes direction position or you can say movement okay so this is very important thing why because uh, there are various uh, terminology used in medical domain in order to denote these direction and position so let's discuss a uh, few of them so that it will it would help you to identify the terminology with its meaning okay so we will go in the same way firstly i will tell you about the prefix that we are using and then we will discuss few examples so that it will give you a clear picture of the concept all right so the first prefix that we are going to discuss today is ab ab means away from so whenever you want to make a sense of away movement or away from movement then in that case we will use the ab keyword or ab prefix now we know prefix is something that always uh, comes at the beginning of the terminology so here you can see here i have noted down a couple of scenarios like abduction adducens nerve aboral so these are the medical terminology but the common thing in between them is ab which is representing the away from movement okay so let's go one by one first one is abduction abduction means movement of limb away from the midline of the body so whenever you are uh, denoting the movement of limb away from the midline of body then in that case we will use the uh, prefix ab which is here uh, right abduction abduction is started with the prefix ab so here you can see it is denoting the sense of away away movement okay fine the next example we have is adducens nerve. Adducens nerve. Here it is mentioned the sixth carnival, carnial nerve responsible for controlling the lateral rectus muscle of the eye which moves the eye away from the midline of the face. So again you can see it is making a sense of away movement. So here it is, it is saying that the sixth carnial nerve responsible for controlling la lateral rectus muscle of the eye okay so this nerve is being used in order to uh, control the lateral uh, lateral rectus muscles of the eye which moves the eye away from the midline of the face then we have aboral aboral means away from or opposite to the mouth so here again this is used to uh, show the sense of from away from right so away from or more opposite to the mouth commonly used in geology in order to describe the structure like organis uh, structures in organism like jellyfish or sea anemones okay so this is uh, the one of the best example uh, for the prefix ab okay fine then we have add so this you can consider as just opposite of ab so whenever uh, we are showing the movement away from the some uh, some part or away from then in that case we will use the prefix ab but the moment when we are showing something towards the uh, body part or you can say uh, whenever we want to make a sense of toward movement then in that case we will use the prefix add okay so here uh, one example is written here add adductor adductor means a muscle that pulls a body toward the midline of the body okay so again you can see there is a sense of movement which is towards the midline of the body so that's why we are using the keyword or prefix add which is showing the movement or towards movement so i hope this point is clear to all of you because ab or add is something that we can learn together because both are working uh, opposite to each other so yeah this is all about the ab and add now next terminology is nt nt means before or forward 
so whenever you want to make a sense of before or forward of something then in that case we will use the prefix anti here I have noted down a couple of scenarios the first one is anti brachium anti brachium which is for the forearm the part of the arm between the elbow and the wrist okay so here again we are using this anti terminology or prefix in order to show the forearm before which which is something related to the sense of before and forward or anti brachium then we have anti cubital anti cubital means relating to the front of the elbow so you can see front is also something related to the forward or before part of the elbow so whenever we are going to discuss about the elbow front part then in that case we will use the terminology anti cubital where anti is representing the sense of before and forward so this is all about the anti prefix then we have anti partum uh, anti partum anti partum means the period of time before childbirth so the duration which comes uh, before the childbirth is considered as entry partum partum anti partum okay and just opposite to this we have another terminology anti mortem which is the which is considered as the period of a time before death so uh, here you can see we uh, there is a sense of before right before childbirth or before death so both thing is denoted with the help of prefix anti which is used to showcase the sense of forward or before okay so these are the four uh, examples for anti prefix which is anti brachium anti cubital anti partum and anti mortem okay fine now we will see the next one next one is for circum circum which we will use in order to make a sense of around okay something around so here uh, we have a couple of examples first one is circumduction what is the meaning of circumduction circular movement of limb so again it, it is making a sense of around because we are moving we are moving in a circular way then it means we are moving some around of something so that's why circular movement of limb is denoted with the terminology circumduction where circum is used to showcase the sense of around then we have circumflex which means a curved or winding anatomical structure such as coronary artery or nerve so that nerve which is in a curved or winding anatomical structure we are using the terminology circumflex in order to show that afterwards we have one more uh, terminology which is circumvalent placenta so here it is mentioned a placenta with a thick and ring like edge so when you want to uh, show a link uh, show a, a placenta with a thick and ring like edge then in that case we will use the terminology circular uh, circumvalent placenta okay fine and at last we have the circumscribed which is confined with the limited area of boundary okay so whenever you are going to show something uh, as a part of body maybe uh, where let's say if some do doctors are going to perform some operation so they can confine some area some limited boundary right so that thing we can call as circumscribed so that circumscribed area would be considered only for that particular operation so this is also a kind of medical terminology that mostly used during the operate operations okay so yeah these are the all uh, medical terminology prefixes remember we are not discussing about the entire uh, terminology we are just discussing about the prefixes so these are the prefixes that we use in order to showcase the movement such as direction or position so yeah that's all for today and in the next session we will discuss few more things and the question for today is what is the pr information provided by the prefix uni and oleg so we have already covered this thing so i am assuming that you are you know about this answer so i request you to keep sharing your knowledge in the comment section and just push put the answer of this question so that others can take a reference from it okay so yeah that's all for today 
in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share method